Hey everyone, Ryu again, and we are finally done. Um, this here is the completed version of the 1 over 100 Master Grade Double Zeta Gundam. And th this, by far, is one of the most heaviest Gundams I've built in my life. I kid you not. Um, for those of you watching right now, I highly suggest getting a base, or an action base, for this, um, Gundam, because it's very heavy. As you can see here, it's leaning against the box. It can't not hold itself. So, some of the things you get with the Gundam, is, is accessory-wise, is, of course, your standard double beam rifle, which was standard with the double Zeta. You get two beam rifles with... The holsters, which they're in the holster right now, because I don't want them out. I would prefer them in the backpack. Although, here's one beam saver with the clear holster. Very nice looking. I, I do like the clear parts, but just... The only thing is, I didn't really care much for the rest of the clear parts, because all it is is just the leg clear. I mean, not to sound like anything... I could show you in another review. It's just, uh, I need you guys' opinion on that. So, continuing on, oh, one last thing before I start, I almost forgot about the Core Fighter. I like how this is, like, this Gundam has so many ways to access and transform itself. So, without further ado, let's get on to articulation. Remove, let me remove the double beam rifle here, as it's on a peg. Yeah, the arms have little pegs. Okay, moving on. Uh, the head can get a full 360. Just gotta be careful. The V fins are very evil. They like to fall off there. Alright, come on. So like I said, evil V fins. Even more as the head's even just as evil. Alright, let's try this again. There we go. Full 360. You can go up and down. And yes, the neck bends back for transformation, but don't, like, of course it looks better like that. Um, the hands, full 360. Not problem. Um, the arm, you you can tr get a full 360, it's just with the backpack in the way, it gets really hard, so, um, I'm gonna try for a full 360 right now, with the arm here. There we go. Full 360, hopefully, maybe. Alright, I'll give you guys about a 240. Stinking backpack. Um, okay, the uh, sk the skirt armor go flaps go up and down. Let's see, um, the leg joints. As far as the feet go, you get a nice bend, about 90 degrees. Especially, it's very easy to bend because of the transformation for it. Um, the leg. Is you can get a decent 90 degree bend. I'll show you right here. Mainly, you're not going to get very far with it. Sorry about the easy thing about that breaking apart so easily. Like I said, it transforms. So you get about a nice little 90 degree bend. Alright. The cockpit opens right here. Hold on a second. So you can see Judo Ashta. Not Camille. I wish it was Camille. This is the double data though. Um, the backpack opens to ex show its missiles here. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can turn this around real quick. Get a little missile action going out there. Articulation-wise, also, the beam saver holsters can go back and forth. 
So I'm going to move on to my second part of the review to show some transformations. Um, I'll see you next review. Actually, not next review, but moving on to the next part.